Welcome. Today we're going to be talking about the PPIO pins on the Atomic Pi, uh, most more specifically the uh, LEDs on the large board GPIO 1 and GPIO 2. And we're going to turn those on and off. First thing I do is I come down to the well documented more specs here link. And just scroll down. And there's quite a bit of good stuff on here if you guys are interested. Make sure you read through all this. Um, but for what we need is we need the user guide. The reason we need the user guide is because GPIO pin 1 is not the um, way we're going to call it. We are going to call it the global pin 332 and for the yellow one 338. So. Okay, so I am remoted into my Atomic Pi via PuTTY. I'm going to go ahead and open up a terminal. From here, I'm going to go ahead and open up our folder for our GPIO pins. Take a look at what's inside this folder. We have a few GPIO chips, a couple of export and unexport files. Um, we're going to be using these export and unexport files. Um, the GPIO chips we're going to stay away from for right now. Uh, we're going to call out the pins directly based on the user guide. Uh, so let's go ahead and create a fol folder for the 332 pin. So we're going to do sudo echo. And we're going to call out the pin we want, 332. We're going to go ahead and do the location of our export file. So this file is like a little strip that will create our folder that we need. That's the password. Okay. So if we look into what's in there, we now have an additional folder called GPIO 332. If, just out of curiosity's sake, we look inside that folder, uh, we just see a few different things. Active low just determines if it's uh, when it's one it's high or if it's uh, zero when it's high. Uh, direction if it's an input pin or an output pin. Uh, an event value, if, you know, the value that's stored in. Uh, there's a few things in here like power and subsystem and advice that I not 100% aware of just yet, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, back out of here and continue on. So the next thing we want to do is um, make it an output pin. So we're going to go ahead and do sudo echo out for output uh, greater than, and we're going to call out um, our folder, the GPIO 332, and we're going to call out the file direction, just like how we called out file export. So we get an access denied or permission denied kind of thing. So that's just because we need to give ourselves uh, read write access. So let's go ahead and do that. sudo mod dash r and we're going to give us everything. Class, GPIO, GPIO. Now, if we go ahead and we do that over again, it works. And we can go ahead and just for fun, look at the value that is in there. And it is currently 0. Okay. So let's go ahead and do a, uh, let's change the value of it. Echo. We're going to change it to 1. And we're going to call out our pin. And then if we do uh, cat again, we can see that we are now at 1. Let's go ahead and change our value back to 0. And look at it again. We do that a couple more times.
and it looks good. So let's go ahead and do this with um, let's go ahead and do this with the uh, yellow pin at 338. So we're gonna pretty much do the same thing. Uh, we're gonna create our um, exported files. So we're gonna go sudo uh, echo 338 sys class gpio export. And if we look in here, we now have an additional folder, not only our 332, but our 338. And so we're gonna go ahead and give ourselves um, access to that as well. Uh, 338. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and do our direction, create an output pin. Eight and direction. And then let's go ahead and look at our values since I have this one actually currently on. Zero. Okay. Pseudo echo one GPIO three thirty two or three thirty eight, excuse me. All right, not tight. 338, and then uh, value. And then we do cat again, and now we have one. And we can do the same thing like we did last time. And cat again, back to zero, one. And we can even, you know, play around. So there you go. Um, and if you want to, for some reason, start over, clean up, whatever it may be, you just do sudo echo uh, your pin number and then uh, sys class gpio um, on export and if we do that for 338 as well and then we look in our files um, we're back to where we started so simple as that um, Hope this helps you guys. Uh, leave a like if it does. And uh, let me know if there's something else you want to see done with this. Thanks.